Oh, that's a, that's an opportunity. Good save by Pope right there. That one, I feel like he maybe used his height a little bit. That was actually a really good save. I'll give him that. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Pope that came out today. It's the new SBC card that is six foot seven with five star skill moves. Now, obviously, the skill moves don't really matter, uh, to be honest with you guys. Like, they do that for the quote unquote fun concept, but you might as well have given him a five star, five star because it's a goalkeeper you know what i mean like there's no big deal uh to doing that to a goalkeeper and you know a five star week would be really nice for uh you know ball distribution with your feet so food for thought right in regards to this goalkeeper guys we're looking at a card that is essentially 87 goalkeeper diving 88 goalkeeper handling 85 goalkeeper kicking 87 goalkeeper reflexes and 89 goalkeeper positioning so with all those stats and him being six foot seven at 40k, it sounds pretty good. But as you guys know, goalkeepers are very weird in FIFA. Uh, sometimes they just don't really work that well. Like in my opinion, there has been so many released special versions of cards for goalkeepers in this game. But I'm telling you that nobody touches Ter Stegen's rare gold card, man. That card is on another level for some reason. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to try them out in game. This is the team that we have working with, right? Just a little typical squadron over here. We're just going to be playing some games with the 4 2 3 1. We're going to be trying them out as a goalkeeper. Uh, I may be getting wins. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm actually going to just do this for now. Uh, nah, I'd rather have Ozzy Mean on low chemistry there. Uh, no, we'll put, we'll put the Danny James up there. Um... Yeah, pretty much it. We're going to be using the 4 2 3 1. We're just going to be playing the game normally. And if people have opportunities against me where Pope needs to save, then cool. We're also going to force attacking situations for our opponents as well um, so that they have more shots against a 6 foot 7 goalkeeper with essentially perfect stats, right? So we're going to be testing it out. We're going to see how he plays in game. Bro, this guy is freaking massive, bro. That's six foot seven height. Holy man, this dude is absolutely huge, bro. We're gonna put team press on so we can like deplete our stamina a little more and uh, create some more spaces. Nice goal there with Dan James. I have the width really high up on the team right now. I'm not really like feeling it too much, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's really necessary to put width on the team because like you just your dribbling just needs to be solid in the middle. It feels like. All right, we'll give him a situation right here. Oh, nice save right there. That height, dude, is gonna be freaking nice to have. Nice. Get off the ball moving there with Blanc. He is an attacking oriented um, midfielder. He's annoying. Like, he is a cam first, so his movement's going to be good there. Ooh, he scores that one, though. Do I blame Pope for conceding that one? Not really. He actually hit that in the corner quite nicely. The animation to dive after it, though, not necessarily the greatest. But um, I think he did hit it to the corner there, so not too bad there. Gotta do some more lackluster defending over here. Height there. I don't even push the goal here right there. You know what I actually want to do? Oh, look at him using that team press tactic. Noise, 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 noise. Every single person marked. I love this tactic. Um, yeah, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tell him to be a... Uh, I think there's like an instruction where it's like sweeper keeper or something. So I'm going to switch to that. Look at this attacking AI. It's literally one of the worst I've ever seen in FIFA. They do not move properly at all. Look, if I'm here, oh, thank God it's actually open on the right side. Finally. This is why the skill gap in this game is like non-existent because like stuff like that, like I need my players to move. Like I can't, I, oh, I can't just dribble. Your dribbling sucks. Like. All right, we'll give him that space right there. There we go. Push the goalie out a little bit. Oh, that is not a good deflection. Though uh, no, you don't want to deflect that into the middle, but any goalkeeper could do that in all fairness, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, that's a big no-no for a deflection. Not right into the middle. That's whoa, my dude. Oh, 
Five star weak foot Dembele. All right, let's give him some opportunities right here. I'll give him this angle right here. Shot across goal, very typical stuff. Don't really expect him to save those as well. I feel like he's going to be like one of those generic keepers you have in your team that's going to be like not bad to use just because of the links that you can get in your team. Like the, the two goals that he's conceded so far, they're like pretty generic goals that go in, you know, but... It's obviously, like, with goalkeepers, man, I'm telling you, it's the ones where you're like, dude, like, this guy should not be saving that. That That's the ones that makes the goalkeepers really good or really bad, you know? And, uh, yeah, he's he just seems like one of those goalkeepers that you're just going to get links with. But, dudes, like, I'm telling you, the way the Ter Stegen animations, man, the ones that he chooses to do when he's making certain saves, like, it, that's what makes him a freaking good goalkeeper. It's insane. All right, that's another opportunity right there. We'll just pull out the goalkeeper. Um, what's the animation he chose here? Let's check. I mean, yeah, the only the only animation you give him with that type of uh, dive is uh, is just the finesse shot. So if he does a power strike there, he probably saves it. Interesting animation though. I never really see that one too often. Oh, full power there. That's that's lovely. And this guy just absolutely just didn't do anything with it. But that's lovely. Full power. My Ferdinand does that. That's why people think scripting in this game exists. Good stuff, EA. Good stuff, man. Full power into that. Full power into that pass. He passes it right next to him. It's unbelievable. Nice goal right there, Philippe Anderson. All right, guys, so we're going to try out a different tactic uh, for the 4-3-3 false nine. Just use something different, right? We're going to go ahead and use Pope on aggressive goalkeeping. So I think it's basically sweeper keeper. That's sweeper keeper. That's the one. And then saves on crosses, cautious with crosses, comes for crosses. I want him to come for crosses and be a sweeper keeper just because I feel like he's so tall that he's probably most likely going to win them, right? So... Let's try it out. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Party. Mark All right, nice little typical save there with Pope. Great job there. I'm going to put him up for the corner right here, actually. Just right, right there in the middle. He doesn't have a left-footed player that can score into the 18-yard box right there. So let's see what he does here. Should be catching those. 100%. Six foot tall. 100% should be catching those. Oh, now you want to see? So you want to switch to the left foot to do the corner? I know, I know the, I know the thing, my boy. I know the thing. Okay, we go back out. We go back out. He's gonna switch back to the left foot. Watch, watch, watch. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Who knows? He's calling it close. <laughs> Typical finesse shots to the bottom left side. Yeah, Pope's. Uh, the one thing I'm noticing about Pope's height is that. It almost feels like he's not really utilizing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because of the goalie animations being a certain way in this game. Like, yes, those shots should be obviously going in because he hits it literally to the bottom left. But, it, like, it doesn't really feel like he uses his height. Like, the only time you're going to really notice that height is going to be for crosses and corners. I don't really feel like you're going to notice it from, like, long-distance shots or anything like that, you know? In my opinion, anyways. Oh, that's a bad deflection. If that was Pope doing that, I'd be like, oh, this goalkeeper's crap. <laughs> oh, my God. If the dribbling was actually good in this game, I would have destroyed him right there. Uh... We'll just slide tackle there, give him the space. Goalkeeper does a reaction to the fake shot. That's, uh, again, not goalkeeper's fault because... Uh, you either do a fake shot, a ball roll touch, any of those kind of things to get past the goalkeeper um, to score your opportunity. So again, can't really blame him there. But like I said, guys, uh, this whole thing with his height, like you're not really going to notice a significant difference with it in regards to regular saves. It's literally just going to be for crosses and corners because like he's not really going to utilize it for regular saves in my opinion. 
Why can why is it so hard to do passes in this game? Like I'm doing regular passes and they just go like away from the player. It's actually irritating. It's been happening more often, uh more often recently. I don't know why. Just a regular pass, you know what I'm saying? Like my boy, it's not it's not like rocket science here. Philippe really Anderson with a nice little fake shot right there. Some players, they do really fast fake shots. Some players do, like, heavily emphasized fake shots. And it's not ideal um, when you want to get into certain spaces. So it's good that Philippe Anderson can do that really quickly without any hesitation whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, I don't, know how about, I don't know how I feel about the false nine so far. I, I, don't, I probably don't have the right tactics for it. Like, I'm using very generic tactics. Um, maybe putting the width lower would help a little bit. Uh, with the defense, maybe the depth a little higher. I wouldn't say pressure on heavy touch because of the way that the midfielders are set up. So we'll just keep it like that and try it out. Alright, so let's just actually try to go for the win. Well, I'm going to keep using the false nine, but I want to see what um, what this formation is all about without having to force opportunities to people, you know? Good looking sequence. Oh, that's, that's an opportunity. Good save by Pope right there. That one, I feel like he maybe used his height a little bit. That was actually a really good save. I'll give him that. I just feel like in, in goalkeeping in this game... Oh, that's another one. Yeah, but like, okay. I want you guys just to see the dives that he does here, right? Look at the dive that he chooses to do here. You see how his dive is like on the spot? Like, he doesn't really take steps to utilize his height, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's like... I don't feel like the height's going to be that significant. Like, in that save that he did right there was a fantastic save in all fairness, 100%. But, like, I just don't think that that height is going to be, like, a big thing that people think it's going to be. Because, dude, he has essentially perfect upgrades. Like, this guy should be impossible to pass from, like, like uh, certain percentage shots. Like, those ones, if you hit the corner, like, it should be going in 100%. But I just, like, I think the goalie is good for 40k. I just don't think it's like, oh my god, his height is going to be crazy for those specific saves that he's going to make. Like, it's not it's, it's not on that level, I don't think. Nice little goal right there. Good passing play. Philippe Anderson gets into position. Scores a nice opportunity. I'm so happy that I got this card because, like I said, it's it's cool for the link-ups with Chris Smalling, Rio Ferdinand and stuff. You know, because like, I, I did want that link in all fairness. Um, I, just, I just don't think it's going to be as special as people think it's going to be. He's never going to touch the level of Ter Stegen, that's for sure, man. That card is just honestly disgusting. Nicely done right there. That's what's good about this formation is obviously having your center mids make those overlapping runs. They have the right work rates and stuff. Sissoko will do that with a high high. All right, guys. So final verdict on Pope's card. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, dudes, this card is a 48k card. Dude, oh, that's crazy. When he first came out, he was at 35k. Like, that's how you know a lot of people are doing this card right now. Um, what I actually kind of want to check here is which goalkeepers exist from the Premier League. Because I know he's going to be the best English goalkeeper, obviously. So I want to see what Premier League goalkeepers exist right now. Because... Um, there's Allison, obviously, De Gea, uh, Ederson's, like, pretty generic, in my opinion. Uh, and then the other ones are also pretty generic as well, like like um, Schmeichel, Rui Patricio, and all those guys, right? So, um, I do think that for 48k, for an English goalkeeper, it's not that bad, right? But then, as if you want quality in your team, right... I would still choose this rare gold De Gea over him, but what you would be paying for with this card is for the English links, right? Like, the, the reason why I'm able to fit Chris Smalling into the team is because of that soft link that I can get with, with, uh, with Pope, right? And it's just a cool concept because in this team right here, if I get Ikone in that cam position and then I get um, Ozyman up top as a striker, it's just a... It's just the concept that you're working with that you want to unlock this card for, right? I don't expect him to be on the quality level of a rare gold David De Gea or a rare gold Ter Stegen, right? But is he going to be a usable goalkeeper? Absolutely. The goals that he conceded in the game, they're not terrible goals. Like, if they were to go in, they go in. Um, he didn't let in bad opportunities. He only had, like, one bad deflection where he put it into the middle, but... That can really happen with any goalkeeper. Like I said in the review that his height, 
you're not really going to notice that being a significant thing for his diving, okay? What you want to see mostly with goalkeeper goalkeepers is the animation selections and the positioning of the goalkeeper because I really don't think that he's going to seriously utilize his height for those dives, but it'll be very, very noticeable if someone's going in for a cross or if he's going to be a sweeper keeper with his height. It's going to be very helpful for him to push out a goal. So um, it's still a cool SBC to do for those English links. That's the way that I see it, right? Like I'm not... I'm not like sad that I got this card. It's still going to be very helpful. It's the same reason I got uh, Courtois for the links with Ether Millie Town. Like I can put Ether Millie Town right there, put Courtois as a goalkeeper, boom, green link as well, right? So it just depends on what you want to work with in your team. But that is going to conclude the video for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys for the video probably tomorrow for Fred because I have the storyline Fred for tomorrow, I think. I think tomorrow's Friday. Today's Thursday. Yeah, so we'll see you guys then. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.